Within a few days of each other, two anniversaries are linked in glorious remembrance. The tercentenary of the formation of the Grenadier Guards and the VC centenary celebrations. At Windsor, the Queen, as Colonel-in-Chief, reviewed all three battalions of her first regiment of foot guards. And the royal family, by their presence, paid tribute to the famous Grenadiers who were formed by Charles II in Flanders 300 years ago. Taking an honoured place for many old comrades, veterans of an illustrious military past, they are linked in bravery by a distinction that is awarded to all services, the Victoria Cross, instituted in 1857. Today, nearly 100 years afterwards, the Queen, accompanied by her husband, arrived in Hyde Park with an escort of household cavalry to honour over 300 holders of our supreme badge of courage. For a moment, our thoughts go back over the years to that day when Queen Victoria made the first presentations. And a century later, our Queen meets VCs of Britain and the Commonwealth. Poignant moments when Queen Elizabeth spoke words of kindly encouragement to every one of the disabled VCs parading in wheelchairs. In her address, Her Majesty recalled a hundred years of valour. In the past century, 1,344 men have won the Victoria Cross, three of them more than once. They were men of all ranks and they came from all walks of life. They were of different colours and creeds. They fought in many lands and with many different weapons. But their stories are linked by a golden thread of extraordinary courage. So begins the march past, while among the onlookers are distinguished men and women who also know the meaning of service to their country. Let us salute a noble company of heroes whose record of human endurance, sacrifice and selfless achievement has earned them the incomparable award for valour. <laughs>